Hello everyone, I'm John Gronsky. You see this cornfield off to my side? You know, it didn't grow by itself. A good farmer had to grow this corn. And he grew this corn by, by taking the following steps. First he had to plow the field, then he had to plant the seed, and then he had to irrigate the soil, and he had to make sure the soil was fertilized. And then even after the corn began to grow, he had to make sure that animals did not trample over the corn. He had to make sure crows did not eat the corn. You know, it's very similar to cultivating trust in an organization and some of the things a leader must do to cultivate trust within their team or within their organization. Because trust within a team or an organization does not grow by itself. A leader is responsible for cultivating trust. These are five best practices that a leader could take to cultivate trust within their organization. First, a leader has to trust others first. That means a leader should ask the opinions of others, ask people what they think, ask for recommendations, and show the people that they lead that they're valued as an individual. Second thing is a leader has to provide purpose. People within the organization have to work for something larger than themselves, and it's up to the leader to provide that purpose so people are inspired. Integrity is important. A leader must display integrity. They must be honest. When they make a promise, a leader must follow through on that promise, and a leader must be transparent. A leader has to lead by example. A leader should adhere to the same standards that they expect their followers to adhere to. And then a leader must show their followers that they care about them. And a leader could demonstrate that they care for their followers in a variety of ways. First, find out what obstacles are in the path of your followers and then do all you could to do as a leader to remove those obstacles. Find out what resources your followers or employees need and then do your best to provide those resources to your followers. So those are five best practices for cultivating trust. You know, I created a fantastic online leadership development program. And one of the courses I developed is titled Cultivating Trust. I highly recommend you go to my website and enroll in this course. I know you're gonna learn a lot. The website, the website that you'd wanna to go to is store.leadergrove.com store.leadergrove.com You can enroll in the course there. Now I want to finish by saying, you know, that any jackass could trample through a cornfield and destroy the corn. But it takes a good farmer to grow the corn and make sure that the corn comes to market at the end of the season. You know, it's the same with an organization. Any jackass could provide poor leadership to an organization and not cultivate trust within that organization. But it takes a good leader, a servant leader, a character-based leader to cultivate trust and then continue to grow trust within an organization. I want you to be that type of leader. Hey, thanks for listening. And remember, iron sharpens iron.